Hello everyone, welcome to another Fusion Friday. This week I have a special video for all of you. We're going to review a secret to actually calculating tool pass faster while maintaining the same data and the same accuracy without having to adjust tolerancing as most of you are used to. So before I jump into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to continue getting great notifications of content like this and all of the other videos that we have in our playlist. So as you can see, I already have my part file open, my setup created, and my roughing cycle generated. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a simple steep and shallow tool path with a ball end mill. Let's go ahead and grab our half inch flat ball end mill. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and set my actual step down to 0.025, and I'm actually gonna go 0.01 in my step over all while leaving my tolerance at 4 tenths, which is the default for Fusion 360. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay, and we're gonna let this calculate out now. So this is gonna take for what I think feels like eternity, for some of you is gonna be extremely fast, but at the end of the day, we're just waiting to get our tool path. We could move on to other tool paths at any time, very easy to do, but for the sake of this demonstration, I wanna give you a real world calculation and how long it takes. So we could go ahead and check in that status by putting our mouse on here. We're at 99.8%. So it's finishing up its last couple of calculations. And then there's our tool path. So now let's look at the log on this. So this is telling us it's taken 28.5 seconds to calculate basically each and every one of these points on my actual tool path. So if you've ever wanted to see this, you can see how I can turn on my actual tool path and then I can add the points. And everywhere I see a point, it's basically an axis of change. Another thing I like to look at here is the size of my file. So now, how do we do that even faster? Well, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back to design and we're going to take our original part. I'm gonna do a copy. And then up at the top, I'm gonna do a paste new because I don't want these two linked together. And what you're gonna see is part one is coming through again which is now my modified one that I wanna work on. Well, I'm gonna turn off the original part so that I can actually go to mesh and convert my file. So a lot of you are probably questioning, why am I doing this? Or what is the purpose of doing this? Well, some of Fusion Toolpath actually calculate a surface before they calculate a toolpath. So in the event that I had a lot of surfacing on this part, I would actually be able to automatically do that off the surface that's driving it. And to show you how valuable and how much benefit you can get from this, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate my original setup. And the change I'm actually gonna make is I'm not gonna use that original stock body, that is the hard model. I'm actually gonna use the surface model. So, or actually I should say the mesh, I apologize. So with that mesh now selected and all my tool paths are cleared out, I'm gonna go ahead and go in and regenerate these. And what we're gonna notice this time round is this is going to go night and day difference in speed. Usually it gets through and already calculated before I get to finish my spiel. But as we're seeing, it's taking just a hair bit longer than that to be able to utilize. So again, we're at 99.2%. Give this a little bit longer and now we're done. So let's go ahead and look at the log on this one. So this log is showing 22.6 seconds to calculate versus our original calculation, which was 28.5 seconds. But now if we actually look at the size of the file and the data, one of our files is actually a little bit bigger in size. And that's because we're actually getting several additional points with what we're doing. So we could adjust this and we could refine this, but as you guys are seeing here, is if we go ahead and clear both these out, and this is my favorite kind of comparison, so let's clear these tool paths first. And then we're gonna clear these tool paths also. We're actually going to calculate both setups simultaneously and see which one is actually done first and give us kind of a more official time study. Again, Fusion 360 is great because in the background, it's actually calculating this on two different cores of my CPU, allowing me to multitask and be able to accomplish things fast and efficiency with what we're doing. So as we give that a few more seconds to wrap up, I can hear my fans spinning up on my fans a little bit because this is such a small scale model to compare with. And just like that, the first one is done. So again, we're still calculating. We're still calculating on that second tool path. It's gonna take a little bit longer there and there we go. So again, is here is a very small scale comparison, but this time round it took 38.4 seconds because we calculated the entire setup. 
Same thing goes down here for the steep and shallow toolpath that we did off of the actual mesh. We're down to under 30 seconds. Again, roughly a 20% savings in our actual calculation time. But there's one more additional setting out there that's hidden that also does have some benefits to it. So if I actually take a couple of tool paths and I do a compare and edit, and if I go in here and I look, there's actually a surface triangular tolerance. So now you can adjust the triangles being generated automatically by Fusion off of that model. Again, this will not actually affect anything that I am doing with the mesh from the get-go. However, if I was to go in and adjust my actual tolerancing of the triangles, again, I could speed up that calculation time based off of that. I don't recommend adjusting this at all. Some people like to adjust this and play around with it. The reason why I don't recommend that is because you are risking the fact that you're adding additional variables to your parts. You are adjusting what Fusion is trying to machine. However, again, this is a great way to speed up your calculation times and still stay accurate to what is going on inside your file. So again, we're gonna let this calculate a little bit longer. And now that that's calculated, we're gonna go ahead and check that one more time. So again, is if we go in and we actually look at our log, we can see that this was down to 26. Again, not dramatically faster, but we can also notice that my file size hasn't changed in any way, shape, or form. So that wraps up another Fusion Friday for you guys. I would love for you all to go out, test this out. Let me know what you think with the comments below. In the meantime, go ahead and hit a like on this video or subscribe to my channel so that we can keep this content coming. And as always, go out, have a great Friday, get the day done.